refusing to play Beyonce's country song. Beyonce surprised everyone on the Grammy Sunday with songs Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. But despite calls from Bay, the, the Bayhive, Beehive, for country stations to play two songs, some are allegedly refusing to do so. After requesting Texas Hold'em to be played, KYKC 100.1 FM in Oklahoma, the station replied by email to decline. They said, we don't play Beyonce as we are a country music station. Bad move to stir up the beehive. After more requests poured in, KYKC changed its tune and added Texas Hold'em to their rotation. Well, that again, telling you how they feel about you. Yeah. Telling you how, they, how you feel. She she made a country song. She made a yes. country album. But based on it being Beyonce, they're not going to see it as that. They're not going to see it as the original genre of music because mm -hmm. it's Beyonce. Right. I agree. That's all. This has been going on for so long, for decades and centuries. It would never change. It would never oh, change. You you probably too young. But I remember when I was, they wouldn't play would MTV. MT did the same thing to a lot of black artists. Played them at 10, 11 o'clock midnight when they know ain't nobody else watching that. But wouldn't play them in, in the peak hours. Yeah, the MTV did the same thing. So, yeah. and, and 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 radio stations have been doing this for the longest time. So long. So and normally, you, you know, hey, you had to break them off. That's yeah. why you go in there and you got to break them off a little something, something. Yeah. And they play your song. And they if keep you didn't you, break they, them off, you didn't get and, played. And they keep you in rotation. Correct. Correct. They keep you in so rotation. I'm not surprised by this, even that is Beyonce, because Beyonce is the. It, 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 I mean, she's not our complexion. But she is our race. Oh. The game is a game, Unc. The game has always been the game. You gotta learn to play it. The better yeah. you the better you are at playing the game, the more successful you're gonna be. Yes. But they ain't giving it, out no handouts. As long as you understand the rules, you can be good at any game. You just need to understand the rules. There you go. Chat, don't let that go over your head now. <laughs> we're gonna keep it i'll keep it a stack with you <laughs> it is what it is yeah um but i'm glad i'm glad but and you know people like that that's oh that's racism that that's racist for who <laughs> not for their fan base because yeah. the people that normally listen to the radio station look like the people that's cut, playing the records at the radio station so they they, they like okay thank you I ain't breaking. I look here. I'm not interrupting anyone's normally scheduled program to break in, to break news. Right. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. Y'all know. Now, ain't nobody surprised by this. It's been going on and gonna continue to go on. We'll play good music, man. Look at how much they play, man. You couldn't even cut your radio star over here talking about some ice, ice baby. <laughs> Every time you have bad, like, hold on, God, bro, you can't play a song four, five, four, five times in an hour. I understand it's a rotation, but damn. The money talk now. When they talk about, all right, stop. I was like, okay, all right, stop with this damn song. <laughs> <laughs> man, hold your man. Hey. <laughs> man, they need, they, they, hey, they need to stop this, Ocho. They really do. That's funny. So where oh. you take where you take a rail at? Huh? Last night. Oh, <laughs> hey. You know, I I um I went outside my norm. Obviously, we went to we went to some car carbon, carbon. Yeah, so you got to say it like you're Italian, carbon. You got to say it right. Don't just say carbon. We know it's carbon. You got to say it like you're Italian, carbon. And do like this. Do like this, carbon. Try it. Carbon. Try it, carbon. Carbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We but I'm just glad. I am glad that Beyonce is good. Like I said, you got to be really, you got to be way up here. Way up. To venture outside of what everybody know you for. Yeah. Ain't a whole lot of people can do that. No. Not only venture outside, but actually have the confidence in the, the skill set to be able to do it and be good at what you do. Right. I mean, you look at uh, uh, Hootie. Uh, he's a very good friend of my buddy, Hootie, uh, uh, my brother, Hootie and the Blowfish. The they went to school together. Look yeah. at what he did. Hey, 
he 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 uh uh went solo, went country, ain't yeah. looked back. Yeah. That's crazy. Charlie Pride never left. It, mm. it ain't, I mean, it's not a whole lot of black that I can think of off the top of my head. Charlie mm. Pride and, and, and Hootie is what I what I know. I mean, I grew up uh uh my grandfather was a Charlie Pride fan, but but for Beyonce, I give her credit. I give her credit because that ain't that ain't how I operate. I like to stay in my wheelhouse. I like to stay at things that I'm good at. I'm not really, I'm not, I don't really like to venture out. Mm -hmm. I, I, have I ventured out and found out I was good at stuff? Yes. Yeah. But I like to stick to what I know. I mm -hmm. stick to my basic food. They're like, man, how you eat the same thing, bro? You eat chicken and rice every day. You eat chicken in this every day. You eat chicken in that every day. Because I know chicken is good. It's hard to mess up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when we talk about Beyonce and we talk about the lanes that she has, she has, yeah. multiple, she has multiple lanes that she's good at when it comes to music. She can, she can touch and jump into every genre of music and excel at it. Country music. What is country music? Country music is all about telling stories. Yeah. It's all about telling stories. Gospel music. Beyonce grew up in the church. I'm yes. sure she sang in the choir. If Whitney grew to, up in the church. If, yeah, if she wanted to do renditions of gospel music and make a gospel album, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy that. Why? Right. Because she can blow and has a background in the church. R&B, pop, she, she can touch all, maybe techno, not so much. But here's the thing, Ocho. When you go back and look at gospel music, gospel mm -hmm. music is, is us. So yeah. I remember going up. My grandfather listened to Mahala Jackson, listened to Reverend James Cleveland. What you know about, what you know about my, uh, the upper room? Listen, Don't do that. <laughs> listen to uh, uh, the five, Alabama, the five blind boy. I, yeah. I remember that. So mm -hmm. it's not a far stretch to see Beyonce do a gospel song. Right, right, right. But it's a huge leap to see Beyonce, one of the biggest icons. That's a 180. Yeah. That, oh, that that, that's a 180, Ocho. Yeah. That, hey, that's like Patrick Mahomes, like... <clears throat> All of a sudden, he played wide receiver, running back. Right. Like, hold on. Right. You know, a left tackle going to right tackle, we can see that. Right tackle going to left tackle, we can see that. Mm -hmm. We've even seen defensive linemen all of a sudden become offensive linemen. Yeah. But boy, hey, you know, hey when you think about it, right? Mm -hmm. If you do, if you do your homework, if you, if you, if you had a little bit, no, a little bit more knowledge about country music, you know, country music is us too. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna get in depth on it because I don't have the knowledge about it, but there's a lot of us in country music as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 about it's all music mm -hmm. is about storytelling. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's about. Right. The telling a story of why I'm sad mm. or why I'm happy. Yeah. Why I do what I do because of mm -hmm. the environment that I grew up in. So it mm -hmm. forced me to sell, it forced me to do whatever it is, you know, right. rap gangster rap, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But it's all about storytelling. r and I'm singing about to this person that I love, love, and I'm telling you why I love her. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you how she makes me feel, right. and the emotion and the feelings that mm -hmm. I get when I see him or her. Mm -hmm. And you know, one, one of the best things is for artists, whether it be r and whether it be country music, whether it be rap, is when you're able to put your feelings in personal situations you've been through, whether they're happy or whether they're bad or sad. Yes with the pen and put it on paper and express it through your yeah. voice. Yeah. Especially yeah. country music. When people, when, when a woman that is an R and B singer goes through a breakup, the world, the, the world says one thing, Oh, this album finna be fire. Hey, because how what? they feel is expressed through their music. Why you, why you think a uh, uh, nephew, nephew girl, uh, Trav, Travis Kelsey, man, uh -huh. Taylor, hey, Taylor, had, keep that pen. Oh, oh yeah. you've been acting you've been acting funny lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. I got a song. Uh -huh. Yeah. Man, hey, 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 you know what I'm saying, old Joe? Yeah, man. But you, I mean, but you know, it is when you can speak through personal experience. Right. Like you and I, when I talk, I say, you know, me growing up poor, you growing up poor, uh, with no indoor plumbing and having the 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 interactions I've had with mm -hmm. women. I'm not telling what somebody told me. I'm telling right. you what I know. Yeah. I lived it, I experienced it. Right. There, there's nothing greater than experience. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, you know, they say a wise man will learn from others' mistakes. Thanks. A fool will learn from his own. Yeah. I'm just trying to do what I try to tell people, what I try to tell uh, young athletes and people when I talk to them, is that here are some of the mistakes that I've made. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that it's going to happen to you. Right. But 
maybe heed, take heed to heed. what I'm saying. And, and most of the time, nine, nine, nine times out of 10, it's going to go in one ear out the other. <laughs> it's going to go in one ear out the other. They're going to have to learn through just that experience. Alone. Yeah. And sometimes gonna, experience is the best teacher. You can't yeah, feel, you, you know, I try to tell, I try to tell my kids, you know, my kids are grown mm -hmm. now. My son is, is a dad, is a husband and a, and a, and a dad. But at the end of the day, sometimes he's just gonna have. Sometimes Ocho, you just gonna have to bump your damn own head. Yeah, and you know, you know what happens, especially when it comes to athletes, and you come into some money. You know what money do to you when you're young? You ain't never had none before. The first thing you you feel invincible. Oh yeah. You, you well, for, as an athlete, you feel invincible anyway. Anyway, yeah, you you feel invincible. <laughs> you, th you feel like it can't happen to you. She wouldn't do this to me, or you know, oh they love man. Don't get me started. Okay, so what y'all thought about that? Bum, shaka, bum, bum. <laughs> oh, you see, Ocho, he gets on my cotton picking nerves. I swear, Mike Epps was right. He do look like a, a milk dud with no eyebrows. <laughs> But yes, uh, Club Shay Shay, they doing their thing in nightcaps. They doing their thing as well. So yes, uh, comment down below and let me know what you think uh, about uh, what uh, Shannon Sharp had said about how MTV used to do the same thing back in the day. They used to wait until late at night when they know people wasn't going to get the views in order to stop the artist. Okay. Now, Ocho, he had, he was trying, he was trying to keep up in the conversation by sounding intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> but he he finally came around and said he don't have enough history or information about it but he do know that country ties back into the uh um you know the ethnic brother and sister uh old time uh rhymes so what y'all think comment down below on this uh you know whole debacle of uh beyonce uh trying to uh switch lanes you know what i'm saying now you know that's gonna create a uproar with k michelle now because k michelle been out there in them uh, uh country bunking roads for a long long time okay and she said keep the good times rolling but here come that goddamn beehive just bzzz, buzzing their ass all the way over here into the country lane in nashville now you know that's that, that that's k michelle lane she don't stump your ass out. <laughs> don't be mad, KK. Don't be mad, baby. Don't be mad. Because you know you had to have some type of competition, okay? Now, uh, I do agree with some of what Ocho and um, Shannon Sharp had to say. So I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all got to say. All right. You know, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber or supporter at this point, you already know what it is. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> so we're going to handle this business. We're going to wrap this up. And we always going to stand 10 toes down because you know what we believe over here. So if nobody told you what they love, you just know that god loves you each and every day in each and every way outie